Well, I am in Belper to launch the Belper Arts Festival and I'm very honoured. Um, it is very well renowned. It's been running for the last, I think, seven years. Um, and last year, or the year before, it was opened by one of the Classical Brit winners who is now performing for Lady, um, the Royal Wedding. So I'm hugely honoured. It has some fantastic artists invited and I'm just delighted to be a part of it. Well, tomorrow night I'm performing at a beautiful concert in St. Peter's Church. Um, it begins at 7.30 and my guests are Bel Canto, Male Voice Choir and the Fish Pond Choir. Well, I'm very passionate about uh, working with children, particularly within the arts, and I'm an ambassador for um, the Princess Foundation for Children and Arts, and I have been for the last four years. Um, that foundation, it was set up to really develop um, children who maybe may, would not have necessarily had the opportunity to be involved in the arts, whether it be through being disadvantaged or financial worries or, or you know, educational disadvantage. Um, so we set up different projects, whether it be musical, artistic, um, and maybe visit museums, just to allow children to have that opportunity that they may not necessarily have got before um, to be involved in some sort of artist and creative flair. Well, I grew up not necessarily in a household of professional musicians, but music was certainly all around us and we all really enjoyed music. Um, we probably sat around singing songs, just like, you know, your typical Irish family. But I think I moved more into enjoying classical music and musical theatre um, because my grandfather had a huge love for the stars of, of stage and screen, such as Maria Lanza, Catherine Grayson, you know, all of those big stars. And I suppose, um, I'm, I'm a romantic at heart, so I, I kind of fell in love with all those beautiful films and um, I took a genuine interest in it and I decided that that kind of was the, the career path that I would like to go. Um, not necessarily seriously as a child, I just enjoyed it first of all and then I suppose maybe I, the more I practiced the better I became at it and um, then I realised that maybe this was possibly a career for me. But if I was to say um, who I haven't performed with and maybe who I would like to perform for, perform with in the future, there's so many, you know. Um, I suppose the likes of Andre Rieu, who is hugely massive in the crossover world, which is, is my world at the moment. But um, I suppose maybe you, you could even say something like, you know, one of the, the, the pop stars of today would be, would be something that would be different. Um, you know, maybe someone like Amelia Sandé or something, just to do something a little bit different. Um, cross pop with classical and maybe do something like that. Well my new album it's called The Gift of Music and it's due out on release on the 22nd of June but there will be pre-orders about four weeks before that. Um, the album was recorded in Prague uh, with the Prague Symphony Orchestra um, and it has a very eclectic mix of music. It has 18 tracks on it. Um, things from La Vie en Rose, um, some musical theatres from Rodgers and Hammerstein, um, some Caccini, some Handel, some Danny Boy, Carrick Fergus, lots of those different Irish tunes. So I would say it's a real mixture of classical musical theatre and obviously the Irish tradition has, has been put into it as well. Well tomorrow night as well as some of the older music that I'm, I, I love singing, tomorrow night it will be, I will debut some of the songs from my new album The Gift of Music and the people of Belper will be the first to hear some of the new tracks from the new album. Well I haven't been in Belper for very long, just a few hours, but from what I can see it's a very warm, friendly and I suppose as you can see from the stunning views, an absolutely beautiful place full of heritage and I'm really looking forward to bringing a little bit of my artistic flair to Belper. Dobshire, Dobshire, Dobshire. Oxford. Oxford. Valley, on demand.